But what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know a lot about politics, but you know, it seems like you cop a hard time a lot of the time, right? So, man, if you're not resilient in that world, oh boy. What else? What do resilient people do? Yeah, they choose their own attitude, right? So what's interesting about this is that if something happens, what meaning do you attach to it? Because what, what, how it doesn't work is this. Something happened and the thing that happened actually tells you what meaning to attach to it. That doesn't happen. It's the reason why two people can see the same thing and both come away with a different perspective, attitude, you know, idea of what actually happened. You choose it. It's up to you. Yeah, we turned up to the start line of the Olympic final in 2004. And the stupid thing about this is that not four years out, but at least six months out from the Olympics, you know what time to turn up. All right, it was a, I think it was a Monday, 10 a.m. on a Monday morning, whatever the date was, I can't remember right now. And you have to be in the starter's hands that means you have to be in your lane, ready to line up 10 minutes before the actual start date, start time. It's not a hard thing to do. We didn't manage to do that. <laughs> and so, what meaning do we attach to that now? We've been given a false start. Literally, what meaning? What, what literally just first came into your mind as soon as you, you hear that? Huh? Oh, we've been slack. Oh, gee. What's wrong with us? You know what meaning first came into my mind? Fantastic. We're keeping the others waiting. And so they're sitting there, literally waiting for us. Meanwhile, we've been doing our own warm-up. We're perfectly ready to go. Oh, well, false. No one false starts in rowing anyway. It doesn't happen. Because you've got a, a, a literally a cup holding onto your, you know, bow. You, if you tried to row, you couldn't bust through it. <laughs> what was that one? <laughs> well, if you do it twice, or if it's beyond a certain point, you actually get disqualified. We didn't try to do this. It was a genuine mistake. But the point is, is that at that point in time, all of the different thoughts that you had, the meaning that you attached to it, if we had to let that drift through the whole crew, I've got young guys turning up for their first, so this is my fourth Olympics. You know, I had another guy in the crew, Mike Mackay, he's already won two Olympic gold medals, the silver. He was a member of the awesome foursome. He goes, who cares? Man, let's we'll keep them waiting. We're doing our thing. We've had a great warm up. And we, the both of us just reinforced that to everyone else. So we completely changed the meaning of that. We took control of that situation. We went out that, uh, that row and broke the world record. And so I think it was a pretty good outcome. 